Hey guys, Tech Guy Charlie here and welcome to the channel. So One UI 5.1 just landed on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Thought I'd show you the new features and changes this update brings. So we're gonna start right away without wasting any time. So first off, they have added a brand new battery widget and this one shows you the battery level of your phone as well as the connected device. You can see we've got a headset connected and it is showing us the battery level of both the phone as well as the headset. Now check this out. If you take the S Pen out, it's gonna show you the level of charge in your S Pen. So there you go. So this is quite a useful widget. And you can find this widget in the widget picker. It's inside the battery tab. You know what, there are actually two of them. They both do the same thing, the only difference is in the design. Now moving on to the camera, first let's switch to the selfie cam. Okay, so the first change here is that the selfie color tone toggle is inside this button. And you can see it's right over here. And you can change this from natural to bright if you want slightly brighter selfies. And this feature was already there on One UI 5.0. It used to be inside the settings, so it's right over here. But with One UI 5.1, they have integrated this feature right in the camera UI itself. So this is a nice change. Another minor change to the camera is that now you can find the expert raw mode in the more tab in the main camera itself. Now keep in mind that expert raw is still not integrated into the main camera. It is still a separate app. So if you launch this, you will notice that this is indeed a completely separate app. And I've talked about expert raw in the review of the S22 Ultra's camera. So do check that video out if you want to know more about it. They've also added a new feature to the gallery. So when you open a photo and swipe up, the gallery will now show you the EXIF information such as the camera model and the settings used to take the photo. Previously, it only used to show you the date. They've also made some improvements to the remaster photo feature. It can now remove shadows and reflections from photos and can even enhance GIFs. You know what, let's test this feature out. Okay, so here we've got a photo with a strong shadow. So let's select remaster photo and see if it's able to do what the description says. And I'm going to do this on both One UI 5.1 and 5.0 and see the difference. And there you have it. It does actually remove the shadows. And you can see it did not remove on One UI 5. So definitely some improvement here. One UI 5.1 now allows you to change the location of the screenshots and the screen recordings. All you have to do is go to settings and then advanced features. Here tap on screenshots and screen recorder and here you will see a new option that lets you change the location where the screenshots and screen recordings are saved. In one of my previous videos, I demonstrated the brand new gesture that is if you swipe from the edge of the screen, that will activate the pop-up view mode. And this was introduced with One UI 5. Now, One UI 5.1 further improves on this and now you can swipe back to the corner like this to make the app run in full screen. So as you can see, the app is back to normal. And you can't do this with the previous version, so swiping to the edge does not work on One UI 5. So this is brand new. One more gesture that you can do is swipe up with two fingers from the bottom of the screen to open the split view mode. There is one minor change here that is now the phone shows you a list of most used apps. And guys, keep in mind for these to work, you must enable gestures by going into the settings and then advanced features. Here tap on labs and enable swipe for pop up view and swipe for split screen. Now, if you head on into the settings and then go to modes and routines, you will notice that now you can set your own wallpaper for different modes. So as an example, if we go into the work mode and scroll down, you will see an option that lets you set a custom wallpaper for this particular mode. And whenever this mode gets activated, the wallpaper will also change to the one that you have set from here. 
and obviously you can set a different wallpaper for all of these modes to suit the situation. And I don't think I need to explain what this feature does because I have already done that in the One UI 5 video. Okay, moving on. Next up, the weather app has also seen a slight redesign. So let's tap on the widget to open the app. Okay, so first off, you've got this text up here that describes the weather. Really nice. And the temperature graph also now changes color to show you the changing temperature throughout the day. And if it's raining, it's gonna show you a cute little bar graph. And lastly, I also noticed that there are now suggestions in the settings. You can see that the phone is auto suggesting some stuff here like auto connection to hotspot, sync gallery to OneDrive, etc, etc. And yeah, that is pretty much all there is to it when it comes to One UI 5.1. It's not a major update, it only brings minor improvements to the UI. So with that, I guess that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I know I've left out a couple of features because I feel that the ones I've covered are the major ones that you will notice and use the most. And it goes without saying, if you have enjoyed, make sure to mash that like button because it helps out a lot and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Ladies and gentlemen, Tech Guy Charlie signing off.